first, Kim's got some cool stuff for us, Kim. Oh yeah, well ready or not, it is already time for notebooks, backpacks, and school buses. But you know, instead of dreading the end of summer, why not embrace the back to school season by crafting with the kids? This morning we have Samantha Miller with Joan Fabric and Craft Stores here with some ideas. Thanks so much for coming in, Samantha. Yes, thank you for having me. So this is really great because you know we still have a couple more days to enjoy time with the kids before we send them back. And these are fun crafts that'll get you ready for the school year as well. Yes. Yes, definitely. So the first um, craft we have here is an organizer. It's in our plastic storage area. You can, you know, kind of embellish any plastic storage the way you'd want. This is great not only for teachers to have kind of a fun way to organize their classroom, but you could also use it at home. For like pencils, crayons, whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, the great thing about this is you honestly you're using duct tape. Okay. We have these great scissors that actually work for duct tape and they don't get stuck. Oh, so, that is the best. Yeah, you know, usually you think of that tape gets stuck. There's nothing more annoying. Yes, exactly. So they're great for that. We have embellishments that work with duct tape and also these pens. Um, the markers, you know, Sharpies kind of run and things. So these are specific for duct tape. So you could actually mark your drawers saying paper, adhesives, pens, whatever you want in that this, organizer. The pattern on this duct tape and even the colors is so fun. You could really put this on anything like trapper keepers or whatever you want. Oh, yes, definitely. All right, Folders. Yep. Wonderful. Cool. Um, the second one we have is a banner, and the great thing about this is you can really use it to any occasion that you're looking for. Okay, and we have the banner right here in front. If yeah. You can see that. It says welcome. Yeah, so, you know, welcome back, great kind of greeting for those kids coming back to school, yeah. but you could use it for bridal showers, baby showers, birthday parties. I have okay. kind of a birthday theme here where you have the different... Um, you know, presents and banners and different things to kind of celebrate that. So we're going to do this real quick, super okay. easy. So we've taken paper, just cut it into a square, and then cut a triangle out of the bottom. And so this is paper that you can find at Joann's. Oh, we've got all we different have, kinds. We have pads of paper. We have oh. open stock, just sheets that you can buy one at a time. So you okay. can pick exactly which print you want. Okay. So super easy. You just take this. Mm -hmm. You're going to take one of your letters. So I'm going to take the A. And where do you get these letters from? These letters are in our kids' crafts area. They're actually pre-cut. Oh, nice. We have them in different sizes. These are paper, but we also have them in vinyl and plastic. Um, great, great, easy thing to do. So you don't have to worry about cutting them out yourself because I could never make them look no this good. No way. All right. <laughs> and then so what, a glue stick? Yeah, super easy. Just take your glue stick. And I love glue sticks because there's no mess. Yes. And you, just and you won't burn no. yourself. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to put it about halfway down. Okay. Because we are going to also fold it over on top of our twine. So you can use hemp, twine, ribbon, any type of stringing material. And you're going to take it and just fold it over. Okay. Super easy. Again, use your glue stick. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Here. Glue stick is coming in handy. <laughs> the nice thing is you can just fold it over. Okay. And it'll actually move on the string. Oh, so if you want to add more, if you want a picture, something so like that. Put mine oh, on definitely, too? please. All right, so just like this. Exactly. All right. Look how easy that is. That is so easy. I don't, yeah, mine does move. Look yeah. at that. Perfect. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. And yeah, you could really write whatever you want on there. Exactly. Okay, that's so great. Well, thank you so much for bringing in these um, couple really easy ideas and, you know, a great thing to do with the kids before they head back to school. You're not going away. You've got a couple more fun ideas I for do. us coming up in the six o'clock hour. So we're going to check back in with you. Thanks so much, Samantha. Thank you. Ready or not, it's already time for notebooks, backpacks, and school buses. You know, instead of dreading the end of summer, why not embrace it with the back to school crafting with the kids, right? We still have a couple of days to enjoy some time with the kids. Yes, Samantha definitely. Miller is here with Joanne Fabric and Craft Stores with some ideas. Thanks so much for coming in. Yes, thanks for having me. Um, our first craft is actually a teacher survival kit. It's okay. great to give that teacher at the beginning of the year or maybe halfway through the year for that Christmas present. Everyone's always looking for what should I get for the teacher? Yeah, what a nice thing. gift idea to start out the year. What's in it? So um, we first, you start with a unfinished wood Wood okay. box and this I've painted and decoupage so we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute but you can really put anything you want in there we've got chalk we've got crayons little you know um, sewing, sewing sewing kit, kit in, in case, case you have problems yeah <laughs> yeah you've got yeah you've got all sorts of stuff you've got safety pins whatever you want whatever you think yeah, the teacher can yeah exactly use. and then kind of fun stuff like you could do a lotion lip gloss kind of thing just to add kind of an extra and great Joanne gift cards 
you know, oh. because we do have a lot of teachers uh -huh. come in and they get a discount, so that's great for teachers the teachers. Put those to use for sure. Yeah, so one thing that's great about this is you can use any paper that you want. Okay. This I've done, you know, more of the school themed with the papers in front of it. Okay. And we have Mod Podge, which is like a it's like a glue, but you can actually decoupage with it. So you would cover the box after you've painted it. And you can really take any box, any oh, style yeah. of box. Anything. You could do cardboard, you can do wood, and put the paper on. And we have different finishes. There's gloss, there's matte, there's satin, so you really can get whatever type of effect you want. And then you just kind of place it on there. Yeah, and this one you know it's so kind fun. of random, but you could do something specific too. I love that. Great gift for teachers. Yeah, and okay. then there's different tools to use with that also. Okay. Um, and then for either the teacher or, you know, someone going to school, you can do planners or journals that are actually embellished. So really doesn't matter what color they start out to be. It could be something that you're eh, not so happy with, and then you can embellish it to make it your own. Hmm. So this is super cute. Um, you know, just take your, your journal, cover it with paper, and the easiest thing is any type of adhesive. This I used with just a glue stick. You could do paper craft, crafting adhesive. But the great thing about this is washi tape. Have you heard of washi tape no. before? No. Okay. Washi tape is like a plastic tape that you actually can use on paper and to embellish things. So it's like a scotch tape almost, except for it looks pretty. Yeah, it's pretty and it's thin, so it's really easy to use. And real quick, I just want to know, yeah. what are these clothespins here? Okay, so the clothespins are going to be your bookmark. So if you are in your journal, you can mark that page, put your bookmark on. Oh, that's fun. And you're ready to go, either on the top or the bottom. And you can embellish those too with the tape? Yeah, so this is super easy. So you literally just take your tape, Put it on the edge of your clothespin. Okay. And cut to size. Uh huh. And then you just kind of. And then you would just wrap around. it around. Awesome. That is so simple. Yeah, Who doesn't so have simple. At home? Exactly. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming in and showing us these great ideas. Fun way to spend a little bit more time with the kids before Definitely. you send them back. Definitely.